In other news, the United States has added to its growing list of sanctions against entities that violate UN restrictions regarding North Korea, this time hitting two Russia-based companies and six vessels with punitive measures. The U.S. Treasury Department said it will continue to pressure Pyongyang until the regime achieves final and fully verifiable denuclearization. Our Kim Hyo-sun tells us more. The Trump administration has imposed new sanctions against two Russian shipping companies and six vessels for violating the U.N. Security Council resolutions. The U.S. Treasury Department announced Tuesday that the Vladivostok-based companies transported petroleum products to North Korean vessels in violation of international sanctions. It confirmed a Russian flagship transported over 3,500 tons of oil to North Korean vessels earlier this year. The Treasury also explained that the buyer was North Korea's Taesong Bank, which has already been slapped with sanctions by Washington for engaging in illicit economic activities for the regime. Explaining that the sanctions will remain in place until Pyongyang achieves final, fully verifiable denuclearization, U.S. Treasury Secretary Stephen Munichin stressed that those who violate the U.N. restrictions on North Korea will be sanctioned under U.S. law. This is third round of North Korea-related sanctions imposed by the Trump administration just this month and can be interpreted as added pressure against the regime ahead of U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo's scheduled fourth visit to Pyongyang soon. Kim Hyo-sun, Arirang News.